Okay, Leon Edwards, fantastic to see you. Um, there's no better place in the world to be a winner than Las Vegas. So how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. I've um, now came to Vegas a little bit to chill out a little bit. I've um, got a few friends there, so yeah, just chilling, partying, eating, uh, celebrating my winning, huh? Yeah, and it's dessert. Um, how long are you staying out there for? I'm here till Monday, I think, or Sunday. Sunday, I think I leave. I head back to the to the to the UK. I seen that Boris extended the the the, the lockdown, so I'm not looking forward to it. But it's all good. Yeah, mate. Stay where you are as long as you can. Stay where you are. <laughs> uh, look, Leon, you've had big wins before in your career, but this is on a whole different level, is it? In terms of um, the exposure, the attention. Um, how have the last few days been? How have you been enjoying it? Um, it's been it's been amazing. I've just seen the seen the the fans and um the way they're reacting to the win, you know, and and what I've done. And like I said, it's one of my my, my biggest wins of my career, name wise, you know. Um, to go out there and compete I got, with a guy like Nate Diaz, um, and go out there and beat him the way I did, it's a it's a it's an amazing comp- accomplishment, you know, coming from a kid from Birmingham. Just when when I, when I first started doing it, mate, Nate Diaz was already headlining the UFC events, and he's, he's now a legend in the sport, you know. Did your respect for him, did it grow over fight week? Um, yeah, for sure. I, I think I would, I'd like, even leading up to the fight, I, I'd like respect for him, you know, because like I said before, he's, he's, he is who he is, you know, he doesn't change for nobody. He, he smokes his weed, he just like does his thing, you know, it's like, <laughs> like he just doesn't care. And that, that's, what, that's what I like about him, you know, he doesn't like, through fame and unfortunately what he's gained is he just the easier he is you know he's, he's gonna be he's gonna be i think it's one of the things that fans are really beginning to embrace about you is that you just kind of you take things in your stride you're your own man as well you don't kind of change for who you're around yeah. so how, how did you find the the extra attention you had the fans at the press conference you had nate lighting up you had the crazy way in how did you find the whole experience leon um, it was it was amazing, especially to have fans back. You know, um, I, I've had fans at, at the event now for me, about a year and a half, two years because because of the pandemic. You know, so to now come back um, to the US when there's like like fifteen thousand in attendance, the weigh-ins are sold out, the 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 press conference are sold out, no one's wearing masks. It's like a normal world, and I was like, it, it, it was weird, but um, yeah, it was a like I said, it was amazing, amazing, amazing time, and. Um, uh, I was happy to be involved in it and happy to uh, get one out there and got a victory now. You said you you enjoyed having the fans there, but you you were booed every time you showed up. You were booed, <laughs> the presser, booed the way in, booed on your way to the Oxygen. Um, do you um, do you enjoy that role? Um, I think once you, if you booed or cheered, it's the same thing, you know. You know, like to make you you, you, you acknowledge me and um, know who I am. That's all that matters, you know. And that's all that that's all that that that, that they're doing. Um, obviously, I know that he was a, a Nate Diaz crowd. Like I said, he's, he's a popular, popular guy, especially here stateside, you know. So um, I know if you go go against um, the, the fans' favorite, that you probably won't get booed, and um, it doesn't bother me in the in the, in the slightest. So we're not. They go out there and you know, and I still go out and get the job done, you know, which I've shown time and time again. Yeah, you had that big mad grin on your on your face when you were doing your ring walk. It didn't look like it affected yeah. you whatsoever, man. Nah, it was, it was it was fun. It was a good time, yeah. Uh, fr- from a fan's perspective, this was just a fantastic fight. It was great to watch. You look fantastic. You look great. You were dominant. Then we had the drama at the end. Um, <laughs> talk us through the game plan going in um, and how it all came together. Um, I think it's, it came together um, perfectly. You know, we, we like we said, I've been watching Nate Diaz now for a long time. Me and my team. So um, uh, I just posted a video on my Instagram, like showing like kind of what was working and how much. How much is um of it paid off in the fight, and I say about ninety percent of what we planned and thought was going to happen happened. You know, even like him trash talking and um do, doing all that, we all prepared for prepared for all of it. You know, so it was a like I said like it was a fun experience um to go against a guy like Nate Diaz. Like I said, he, he's a, he's a legend. Um, he's tough as hell. He, he hit me in the best shot. He's still talking shit. Still talking. Shit. To you know, but it, it was all good. <laughs> you know, when when he when he's talking to you and when he's he, he's making his gestures, and also then when there's blood coming out of it, all different kind of parts of his head. Are yeah, you thinking to yourself, right? I'm in a fight with Nate Diaz here. This is a real Nate Diaz fight. Yeah, for sure. Especially like like coming back from it now and rewatching it, it's like, oh, 
just beat Nate Diaz, you know, but obviously at the time, <laughs> at the time, you kind of like got to stay focused. You can't like build him up to be something that it's not, you know, and um, so the whole fight week, I was like, it is what it is. Like, I, I, wanna, I saw him as like a person that's just in, in the way of my dream and um, I, from what I want to achieve in my career, you know, that's what, that's what I send him as, but also now, um, days away from the fight, um, days after the fight, looking back on it, he's like, oh, like I just went out there and took that Nate Diaz, so it's a, it's a good name to be added to the list today. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He did it in, in, in memorable style as well. Um, could you kind of talk us through what, from your perspective, were the keys to your victory? Um, I think the keys to the victory to, to, to be in Nate Diaz is not falling into, it, it wants to get you into like a scrappy, scrappy style, right? Whereas like, if you're watching Fort Connor, when you fought Connor McGregor, you kind of like drawed him into the, the 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 scrapping style and kind of got tied and that's when they climbed, climbed top of him, you know, and got, got the submission. So we know going into the fight, just stay composed under under chaos, you know. So when he's trying to swing for you and talk to you, but don't pay no 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 attention. You, you you stay calm, pick him apart, manage the distance perfectly. Obviously leg kicks are there. Um I even, even like the sweeps I was doing when I was like sweeping his legs from under him, you know, because um, he's so like very side on. He's like a boxer. He's like very like side on, you know, so that worked perfectly. Um, those like the grappling scenarios goes, um, I weren't shooting no single legs, no double legs, because once you shoot single and double legs, the wraps around your neck can try to choke you, you know, and um, so I weren't, I, weren't, I weren't doing that. Even when I was hurt, um, if you watch when he fought Connor, when it hurt, when, when it hurt Connor with a shot, Kind of like shot for his legs, and then he choked Connor out, you know. So even when I was, even when I was hurt, I was still aware that don't shoot for his legs, you know. He's gonna, he's gonna look to choke you out, you know. So I was like trying to cover up, trying to hold, and um, right at the last minute, you know. Did Did you feel like you were in there with with a good version of Nate? Did he still feel strong, yeah, for sure. dangerous to you? Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. I think, um, like I said, is he Nate, Nate's Nate? You know, he's, he's gonna come and he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna be Nate. He's, he's been the same way since his, his career, you know. And um, yeah, I think that was a good good version of Nate. Um, I just didn't give him the the chance to 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 do what he needed to do, you know, from controlling the distance. I was controlling everything in the fight. You know, it was all on my terms, you know. Should we talk about that last minute? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 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 Look, anyone who's who's paid a bit of attention to your career over the last couple of years yeah. knows things never go smoothly. And nah. here we are again, the finish line's in sight. We all think we're looking at a 50-45. Then all of a sudden, that big left hand comes through. Um, what what goes through your head at that moment, it, if anything? Are you, are you even kind of thinking... Like real thoughts, or are you just in survival? Nah, nah. At the time, it's more like survival. You know, you're not really thinking about oh, like nothing else. It's more just like survive. Don't go down. Um, like I said, don't shoot for don't shoot for the takedowns and wrap your neck. Just like, but you're, you're still, like so, are you still thinking that, Leon? Even even at that point, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'm still thinking that. You know, I'm still thinking. Don't go down. Don't shoot for the legs. This is still going up, going up because I, I drilled it, drilled it, drilled it for like nine, ten weeks, and I was still just mm. like embedded in my brain. You know, that's what I, I, I didn't do. It. I was like holding him. I was trying to like cover up. Um, but yeah, it was a it was an interesting last minute. It was like I said, I show my I show my toughness, I show my heart, I show my my my, my will to win. You know, and it's it is like I said, it's, it's a fight. On a scale of one to ten, how relieved were you just to get to the end there? Ten, obviously, you know. <laughs> After going out there, going out there, dominating for twenty four minutes, and then having that last minute of blip of confidence, it's like. I kind of switched, switched off, you know. Uh, um, something I need to work on when I want to go back with my team. And because I do realize that once I'm in a, um, even in sparring, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm dominating the sparring, I kind of like go into like a, a relaxing state and I kind of like lose con con concentration, you know, and something I need to work on. So I'll try to put myself in scenarios where I have to stay focused for the whole 25 minutes, you know, um, and I work on it with my team. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy saying this bit you sent a tweet out after the fight saying nate told me after the fight don't let these <laughs> tell you ain't <laughs> name your price or they will name it for you and i felt that leon can you just kind of summarize to us what those words mean to you um for me it just means like like he's the, he's the perfect um example is uh of what that means you know like like don't listen to the years say because if you listen to the to the years say they'll tell you how much you're worth, how much you're getting paid, and um, you, people start believing it, you know, and um, 
I think you just gotta know that you're that you you you're the boss and just do your your own Leon Edwards business. You know, I'm not in the UFC business. Mm. Um, you should gotta do what's best for you and what's best for your family, but what's best for your career. You know, so don't listen to like you said, don't listen to when other people uh, come to you saying, "I." Oh, because you ain't got this, you ain't got that. You need more, um, you need more fan publicity behind you or whatever. Just keep doing your thing. Um, don't listen to no one else. And I feel like that's that's what I took away from it. You know, mm. is it particularly powerful coming from a guy like him who has taken his own path? Um, yeah, exactly. You know where exactly. he is, and he's, he's clearly exactly, you know, exactly. recognised something in you, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. So, do, so when when they said it for, our, that's like how he looks like. His career, you know, and his, and and his thing, and I know the 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 media and the, and, the, and other people have you thinking, oh, nah, he's just like crazy, he's like, but well, he's not, you know. He's obviously he's he's just doing the way he's he see fits to for him, you know. Yeah. Do, do you think that's going to have an effect on how you um, proceed in your career, Leon? Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. You know, um, hundred percent of um, me and my team, you know, um. Just like do 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 doing our thing and like like so looking looking out for for our business and ourselves and doing what's what's best for us you know not 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 so, not what's best for for other people you know. But with that in mind, like last time we spoke a couple of weeks before the fight, um, you told me that your team was going to be speaking to the UFC to get some kind of assurances about what next for you. Um, what were you told before the fight, and what have you been told since from the UFC in terms of what's next for Leon Edwards? Um, well, before the fight, I know then they came out and said, uh, the winner of this get the next title shot, you know, I think after Kobe says or something like that. Um, so let, let, let's see, I got, I got a meeting this week, um, I think with the UFC, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what, see what they say, you know, well, let's do give Kobe the title shot for like summer. I don't know, I'll wait for them to, to, to later on this year to fight for the world title, you know, there's no point now me, um, Going out there and going on a 12, 13 fight win streak to get my title shot. You know, I've, I've, I've proven myself. I've fought everyone there is to fight out there. I've offered to fight everyone there is to fight out there. Um, the old, the old was turning, was, was turning me down. So there's no point now in me, me um going out there and just fight random, doing random fights now. You know, um, I feel like, like I said, I've earned my spot. I've proved to the world that I, I'm, I'm the real deal, and um, I, I'm looking forward to becoming the world champion. By the end of the year, I feel you know. Yeah, but there's an important distinction, isn't there, between Colby's next for Kamaru, but what's next for Leon? So even if Colby gets the next shot, your next fight could still be for the title. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, like it's like I said, it's about me. You know, like what's next for me? I know I said, I said like um, someone come out of there said about Masada. Was like, I've been calling up Masada since two two years ago. You know, he, he didn't want to fight me. He kept, he kept turning me down. The UFC wanted to make the fight, he kept turning it down. So there's no point now. Now I'm um, he's just got knocked out for the title. Now I'm not I'm, I'm like a nine, ten for win streak now calling him out. It makes no sense, you know. Um like I said, I mean I'm in my business. I'm, I'm here to do the best, what's best for me and my team. And our dream is to be our champion. Um we we're very hard for it, we've we've sacrificed for it and, and so I feel now is the time to 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 wait it out, see how it plays out, and let, let's see, you know. Does the, the BMF title not have the same sort of appeal to you? <laughs> it's not a real thing, you know. <laughs> it means nothing. If you get knocked out, so that means tomorrow's the BMF, you know. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, it, it means nothing official. It's it's not like a formal belt, I suppose. But yeah. what it does mean is, is a big fight, right? I think Nate Diaz is a, is, a, is, a, is a big name in the sport, you know, like. What, what what you're doing is if you're chasing big fights, you're chasing world titles, and you know? I'm chasing world titles. I think once you once you achieve your goal, the big fights will come. They 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 all they always be there, you know. Um, if you chase a big fight, let's say God forbid, I do go out there and, and take it out. Um, then all the world title dreams go away, you know. So I'm I'm focused on becoming a world champion. Um, like I said, I'm I'm only young. I can the big fights will come in my career. You know, I'm not chasing it at the moment. I'm chasing the world title. I'm chasing achieving my dream for me and my team, and um, that's my focus, you know. All right, let's let's call that uh, a distant plan B. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's going to happen, 100%. The big, that, that fight muscle is going to happen, you know, for sure. But um, on my terms, and when, when this works for me, you know.